All right. Yep. Episode one of what we do in the shadows. Yep. Finding stuff, tracking something down that's of interest, potentially buying it, potentially servicing it, and hoping to uh, realise. The name of the show is debatable, but uh, <clears throat> today we're going to have a little intro of going in uh, on my eBay account and see if we can find, what, what should we call it, a budget watch? Yeah. Um, but our criteria is in-house, stainless steel oh, case. Are we, doing, are we doing criteria? Criteria. We should have some criteria. Yeah, criteria. Okay. In-house. <clears throat> In-house movement or everything in-house movement? Uh, I think in-house movement. Okay. Um, um, stainless steel? Let's go for stainless steel okay. case. Sub, what was the budget? 100 pounds, 50 pounds? 80 pounds. 80 pounds? Okay. I think 80 pounds, that's a good, in, that's not quite 100 pounds, so no. a bit over 50 pounds. Yep. So if I'm sub 50, it's difficult to find anything. We want to find something really decent. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> 80 pounds. Um, and, and what are we saying sort of? A time only watch of interest. Well, what we're going to do is if we're going to give it a full service as well and parts. Okay. So we're going to factor in my service cost just to, you know, so we can get a realistic quote for someone if they're looking for a good watch. Yep. Um, so this is, the, this is the experience of being a sort of a hunter. A hun yeah, someone who, like us, goes and trolls eBay and exactly. areas of the internet. And we're going to find, find uh, we're going to find good in-house movement mm -hmm. and a good what we consider a good brand, good good watch movement. Mm -hmm. See what performance we can get out of it, and um, yeah, this is from start to let's say maybe in, find a good home in the end. Of, in the end of the video, yeah, um, we should see if we can. We, we'll put it on our social media platform. See what feedback we get. Oh, okay. First of all, feedback, and then see if we can find out a good home. We'll see if we find okay. a good home, and uh, in the sake of the video, we're going to put together how much it's all cost us, and uh, we're not going to take any commission. Okay. We will, we will put the service charge on there, we will put the cost of it on there, any mm -hmm. parts costs on there, and uh, that will give somebody a realistic idea if they're going to find a watch which they would actually like to wear yeah. that's running. Because often if you buy something for £80, pounds, people don't good. think about servicing costs, they and don't. the servicing costs can... They add be up. way more than the watch. They add up. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Good. Good, Good start. And, and talk about it. And then you yeah, can we'll talk about it. Show. What should we get go in for first? Uh, I'm thinking Helvetia. I don't know why, but it's on my brain. Okay, it'll be hard to find a stainless steel case, but we can have it. <laughs> That's okay. Good, good, good point. You've completely overruled me. Um, uh, Seema? Seema Simon? That is me. Just so. <laughs> yeah, I want to be a part of the video too. I'm typing in Seema now. Seema. Seema is my go to, yeah? Okay. Uh, I'm gonna put in. We can also give an example of what not to look for as well. Oh yeah, I like that. We Maybe might piss off some sellers. Um, let's... Well, there's there's more than enough of those. Uh, here we go. We got mechanical, automatic, and mechanical. Oh, That's a good can... classical redial. I can see it from here. <laughs> Strato quartz. That sounds incredible. Oh, there we go. Straight away. Okay. I'll have a look at that. Have a look at that one. Um, we could filter by stainless steel and all the rest of it, but I find that <coughs> no, it's not enough more, people put more in fun the, to go through, isn't it? Not enough people put in the particulars as well, so it's quite, quite sometimes quite better to pick up. Oh, there we go. It's a triple X. It says serviced. I mean, I think a whole other video is how other people service watches. Let's <laughs> um, have a look. Okay. That's incredibly cheap for a four one four. Does it say serviced by Mitka recently? No. <laughs> Not a stainless case, surely. No. no. looks like it's been chewed up. So you can see how the uh, steel of the movement and the, and the housing ring contrasts yeah. drastically with the nibbled case there. Looks like it's a bit top marked. But yeah, just again, um, serviced, I can't tell from the picture if it's been serviced or not. Um, if it has, it's not too bad. And you could, for £100, you could get the case restored and you could live with that dial. It's still a great bargain, if you ask me. Mm -hmm. um, but if it's been serviced, I don't know. This is what we're looking for. What okay. is that? It looks we can see there's a bit of dirt, there's a bit of marks on the dial. Mm -hmm. Sub-second hand. Sub probably an aftermarket crown. And I'm going to go out on a limb and say this is this probably is not... Snap-on case. Yeah. Probably. I don't think it's... It's not a stainless steel case. It's not a stainless steel case. You can sometimes you can tell... See, you can tell here. You can see that you can see the brass coloration coming through. Yeah. And the non-signed crown is a, is a that doesn't look even though it's not signed it just doesn't 
look like a good enough crown for that watch. It looks all right. Okay. But uh, it's not a stainless steel case. You can take nope. And there's the mark, telltale, telltale marks on the lugs, yeah, wearing through. Yeah. So but, steel, it is not. Fair enough. Okay. We want down. something cool. We want something particular. It's not like a na navy navy star. If we find, oh, what's that one? Off over our budget. Mm -hmm. I've seen this one a few times, and I actually wanted to ask you: Is this a four eight six? Because mm -hmm. I can't tell. Because the hands, it hasn't got the size. It hasn't got anything else. But no, it, it's not. Are you sure? I think I've seen it. Yeah. You've seen it before. It's definitely not the same it's as this four, one. It's a four fourteen. No, no, it's a completely different movement. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Uh, Seema have a uh, quite bewildering array of uh, three-digit movements. Yeah. Um, there are always three numbers, uh, and I, I, I have still yet to learn exactly what is different about certain things. Is it better? Than, are the high numbers better? Do they mean anything? Four, well, let's five. Let's go on auction. So I usually find that's a good. Um, okay. And then, do you want to put lowest or auctions here? Press auction here. Yeah. Sorry. Right. And then, do you want to set the price cap at eighty? Have we got too many results already? No, it's just, it's just nice to see what el what other prices are starting at. Okay, sometimes job lots are pretty good if you can mm. spot one good watch. Yeah, um, cover it in the rest of and the and sell off the rest of them. That's always a good a good little plan. What's this? Eighty quid. I think I've looked at that one before. It's been up several times. Mm. Mm. I think like Suma, that's where like the Amiga Seamasters were. 10, 15 years ago. What's this? Oh, is that 414? Yes. It's 414, yeah. Very nice dial, though. Yeah, cool it's hands. over our budget, unfortunately. It's probably a case, plated case. Yeah, it looks tiny, because those lugs. Yeah. Very cool 34 case. 34 millimeter, that's not too bad, but that's a terrible redial. Yeah, looks like somebody did so, that when they were drunk on the bus. <clears throat> yeah, you can see the way... Are you, do you want a pointer? Yeah. Here's a pointer. Screw, Here's a laser screw, pointer yeah, from the 20th right century. Pointer. So you can see here <laughs> that it's just not. Yeah, and also the numbers uh, have numbers uneven, uneven whatnot painting and the thickness of this no illegible almost. Shame, 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 and also it seems to be into a bed of uh, rust. They seem to put that in old rust. No, bed. that's the back side of the dial. That's fair enough. Um, oh really? But okay. yes, yeah, plated case. Mm. It probably has that. Yeah, it's lovely it's fine. Though. It's fine. It's a fine case actually. I don't mind the case. That's a lovely a, movement. A very nice movement. Four fourteen. This is nice. typical of. It's just I a mean, shame about the dial. Yeah. Okay. What's up? Okay. Um. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, I think it's gone over what I would pay for it now. It's yep. eighty-three pounds. Um, it's got an original dial. It's not what we're looking for today, but a good project if you've got a dial or something. Okay, what's this? <clears throat> this is pretty cool. Is this a this is looks like it's a synchron like... time, but this is going to be an ETA in that. So, so. this is going to be a late sixties, early seventies. It's a bit more it's of mid, a seventies, mid seventies, mid seventies case. Well, that's probably got an ETA in it. So the diving board. Um, yeah. Indice. So interesting dial. And very interesting dial. Very seventies with sort of. Mic, like 3D textures, yeah, sort of yeah. UFO case, hidden crown, stick hands. Oh, I'm all for it. I'm all for it, but it's just not in house. It's not in house. It's not the sort of period we're looking for. Okay. No. Oh, you left a big sticker on there. Apparently, that's two hundred eighty-four dollars. Doubtful. No. It, I know. I'm just being silly. Right. Conquistador, uh, Tavans. Obviously, the cost of postage and shipping. Is that any good? Landron 13? Generally, uh, Landrons are pretty... It comes from Albania, I'm a bit... No offence, Albanian people, but... Often pocket watches being adjusted. That's a 586, I think. Is it? Oh, we should get that if it is. That's a really dial. It's over our budget as well. Well, I might Argentina, buy it. Argentina's quite far. I might buy it anyway. That's a redial. That's a very bad redial. Yeah. But it's a big boy. 35 mil. <clears throat> the wrong hands as well. That, not a good, not good one. What? Mm, no. See, this is a nice watch, but it's over our price range. There's a water sport there. Yeah, very shabby. Mm. Pretty poor fishing today. Do you not sort by UK only? Sometimes. No, I think we might have to abandon our favourite. Um, yeah, we've got a bad brand here. We today. Have. Yeah, no, it's too they're too pricey this next week. What do you fancy? Uh, a Turner? 
Oh yeah, okay. Usually uh, something of an Eterna. Let's have a look. Maybe an Eternomatic, of course famed <clears> for <throat> the Contiki and uh, various other watches, but also mm. uh, Eterna, big movement maker. Right. Yep. Part, of the, part of the king, DNA of... King, king of the movements. Part of the DNA of ETA. Mm-hmm. So I've seen this one. This is in... going to well, have a Okay, yeah, sorry. That's got £54 postage. That's already... And that one's got £42 postage because we're in mm. jolly old UK. Might be the stretch a little bit if we find something interesting enough. Mm-hmm. So we've got some good stainless steel cases here, but the dials look pretty shot. Yeah. So also look. speckling. It's very difficult. I, I find when looking at dials, you have to look at it from several angles to figure out if something's on the dial this, or on the inside this, of the crystal. Uh, definitely a redial. Yes. You can see uh, the thickness of the Eternomatic and the, the and the horrendously misapplied um, second markers. Second markers that sort of look like mm. Smarties being laid out by a child, <laughs> and loom obscuring the end of the indices. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's just move away Ugh. from that quickly. Horrendous polish. This is beautiful. Wow. wow. Look at that's the patina a good one. That. That's the original font. Um, that is the original loom, even yep. if it's just slightly squiffy. Loom on the 12. Great. That Eterna logo. Everything looks great on does this. Does it have the original Eterna mark in the crystal? If you, if you click no. on that and zoom in. No. No. Doesn't matter. Sides of the case. It looks very sharp. Oh, yeah. The Look how sh <clears> Oh, <throat> yeah. Bug. Design it looks here. like a insect's carapace, doesn't it? <clears throat> that's something, yeah. It looks like a that is, that's a really good catch. That's a really that's a re this catch. is a really good buy. This is a good, good catch for someone. One bid at $99.95. dollars It's probably going to go a lot higher than no six days. Well, let's watch this, see what it goes for. Okay, you watch that. That's spectacular. That's a spectacular watch. So I'd be happy to go a little bit higher on that. Oh, you got into your... well, oh, you gonna... know, all right. Well, we're going to watch this, yep, yeah, see if that. Because if, <coughs> if we have to go Let's up to one hundred and fifty dollars, we will go. For that. You're getting boxes again. Are you buying boxes? Oh yeah, I need to pay for a box. Right, so it says bid now. Yeah, a reminder. Mm. Here we go. Here's the inner. Here's the inner eBay account. There you working, go. So the uh, workings of Mr. Ingebrigtsen. <laughs> uh, looks the, good. Dial is shot. Really? It scratches. Not on the crystal. Sure, it's, it's not on the crystal. Cheap. It's cheap and it's a nice case and it's a fantastic movement. But hands look off. Looks like uh -huh. the wrong hands. I might be wrong. Um, it's, yeah. just, it's just, it's just not, not, it's just not capturing me. I'm sorry. Yep. Um, for someone else, maybe. Again, Ooh, that's too far gone. That's too far gone. Sadly. Good shame. Good parts watch. Very good parts watch. With good movements, good case, good everything. Uh, so it'd be, it'd be worth restoring the dial on that if you have a good dial restorer. But. Anyway, it's not what we're looking for today. Lots of ladies' watches. Um, I find it difficult to, sometimes easier to gauge the size. If <clears throat> size isn't listed and you have no idea if it's going to be 33 millimeters or 39 millimeters. Yeah. Have a look at the strap and the perspective, and sometimes you can judge. And also in the photos, when people turn it over, they have the strap size. So if it says 14 or 16, you can pretty much tell it's, oh, that's a, that's a much smaller watch than I think it is. I always find that quite useful. I just want to have a look at this. Yeah? I just, I just want to look at it and see what the dial looks like. Um, okay. Nothing oh, in that. Certina. Oh, Certina. Why is the Certina DS2 coming up? I don't know. Okay. Well, that's pretty poor fishing today. Mm -mm. Even, no. Uh, mm, so we can no. see. I've still got a little way to go. 582. Let's have a look at that. That's four hundred and thirty pounds. Yeah, but it's a five eighty two. Oh, okay. Is that good? Yeah, that's what's, a, what's that's a big big caliber, quite popular caliber as well. Oh, okay. Cool watches. I'm not seeing anything that's uh, jumping out apart from that original sort of caramel patina. Oh, is that what's the what's your, what's your uh, verdict on this? Value twenty three for in thirty five millimeters. Non waterproof, but. Might be a bit of a mashup of parts that one. Have a look, yeah. Mm -mm. Turn a Mac at one. Oh, look Ooh. at that. Jesus Ooh. Christ. Oh, yep, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Told you, Gay Fraser's bracelets are uh, uh, very popular, so. I wonder how many have been chucked out by watchmakers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Crusted in crud. Ooh, can't be bothered to put that through the ultrasonic cleaner. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Absolutely not.
this IWC gave for us. Throw it away. 1448 is a lovely movement, isn't it? Or is that the case? That's the case. Well, I'm just putting some up here so we can have a closer look. That was my stomach pa saying that's a good Jeff? idea. That was my stomach saying that's a great idea. Let's have a look. Uh, Redal. <laughs> uh, Redal from Redal from this far away. Yep, classic Redal. Cursive script. Mm, mm -hmm. Sure. Original dial. Yep. Looks it. This is a gold Look. cap, cap, gold cap one. Very good plating. Three hundred pounds. Is, oh. So this one, yeah, just I don't know, three hundred pounds, nice original. You got to factor in a service and whatnot, but that's you know, it's a good value. The crown's knackered. Yeah, I think it's not not the worst buy. I would say. Um, yeah, here's the. These are massive. So is this quite a popular one? It's a pretty bad case uh, crown on that. It's yeah. Completely wrong. Really cool case. Yeah. Now these are really why are these so popular? They're big. Yeah? Yeah, I think that's probably 37 mil. Okay. Big screw. It looks vaguely sort of screw back case. Feel the warry World War II piloty as well, with the thick yeah. hands of the loom. Very cool movements. Oh, there. very nice. Yeah, look at that. Nasty sky. What the heck did they do? Who did that? that? What yeah. the heck did they do? <laughs> Nasty. Anyway, very cool. Very moves. cool things to look out for, yeah. What I'm going for now. Hmm. Wrong second hand, I assume. Yeah, but that's not a big deal. Oh, there's a video of somebody yeah, I was handling the, it. Oh, I was missing the bezel. Shame. Oh, I see. Yeah. So, it's gold, so you gold can see the, the gold caps missing. Shame. Another shambles. Well photographed to disguise that though, so thanks for that. Mm. Good seller. Oh, too much patina for me on this dial. It looks... For the price anyway. Yeah, okay. Um, wrong, so wrong it, sweep second hand. It, it's second wrong crown. Order. Yeah. The crown is wrong. Mm. Um, and that movement looks movement like it's... It's completely wrong. <laughs> there's no eternal markings. There's nothing. This is completely That's frank, a, sh a shambles. Yeah. What's, what's uh, been hammered out of the case as well? If you look at the case back, the... Yeah, somebody's edited the manufacturer or original manufacturer of that watch. I uh, yeah, don't know. It's just it's complete, that's, complete that's fake. That's something to avoid. Yeah. yeah. Vision. That looks all original to me. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. It's looking quite nicely. Um, 140 pounds. I wouldn't say it's perfect, but it looks pretty good. It's over our budget right now. But uh, Lovely watch. for 140 pounds, it's not too bad. Lovely very watch. nice, very nice movement. Look at this. No scratches on the movement. No, lovely screws, polished screws. It yeah. Very fine. This is wonderful eternal quality. Yeah, uh, yeah, no, definitely very good. It's in Serbia and it's a little bit over our price range. So we're going to skip that now. This looks like a smaller one, they say 34, 35 yeah, millimeters. 35, yeah. But uh, dent, no, it's not what we're looking for. Nope. We're having a hard time today, actually. Usually we could find something we hmm. should have prepared, maybe. No, I don't. I, I think preparing. Preparing for takes, losers. <laughs> no, it just takes the fun out of everyone seeing how hard this can be to spot anything useful. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, uh, we've got Suma, a Turner. What's the next one I'd go? So we'll do Sat Satina? Yeah. Sounds good. Satina. So I've got hard, hard to, again. Yeah, but I look, if you can you just go to the top <clears> for a second? Because with <throat> Satina, go, well, hold on a second, go to the top. Uh, we're going to au are you going to auction? I'm going to auction. How many results do you get? 87. Let's take okay. worldwide away. Shall we do that? Yeah. Auction. It doesn't really matter. It, yeah. Let's do UK only. That will save us a bit of. We'll try to keep it within the UK just because we are. New, modern, 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 new, modern, new, old, new, seventies, seventies, club two thousand, <laughs> new, 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 new. <laughs> Too expensive for me. International mm, sellers. The DST there. there. Oh. What's Satina Automatic? Is that a blue ribbon with a? Gold plate, maybe? A gold plate case, maybe? Yeah, it's a gold Water plate case. Water king. Yeah, it's all scratched. No, I think that's just the dot. No, oh, yeah, yeah, the dot, the, the, the bipples, the bipply bops. Yeah. Shame, oh. though, that would have been. It's also a plated case. So. Yeah. The plated 
<clears throat> something wrong with the plated case, you just have to add another hundred pounds to the price of getting your plated case in good condition. Well, hold on, this one, if you look, this one apparently is a hundred and, is three hundred, either three hundred and twenty-four years, uh, sixty. Hmm. Um, or it's just, I, I don't I'll understand. I'll move on, I'll okay. move on. Yeah, no, we're not, um... Oh, hold on, what's this one? Oh, it's a DS. It's yeah, just got a nice bracelet. Yeah. yeah, it's always good to spot a DS if you can. Yeah. What else can we search? Um, okay, let's try Helvetia, see what comes up. Yeah? I don't think anything will come up. Wow, Helvetia is getting some interest. Yeah. Gold plated one going oh, for 116. Oh, not oh, bad. Blimey. What's this one? Seventeen pounds. Yeah, I've That's... seen it. It's sort of garbage. Okay. Well, not garbage. It's pots. <laughs> I can see it's a plated case from here, but what is this one? It's got a quite nice sub-second dial. Yeah, but it's pretty patinated. I can see it from here as well. Um. Keep going down a bit. Britannia. Mm. Mm. Okay, what else? Helvetia, Suma, and Turner. Longines. Let's go Longines. Longines could be here all evening. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll have a quick look. We'll see if we oh, find... Okay, 133. Is this, are you still at the sector auction <clears throat> only? Yeah, right, I like okay. the auction only because usually buy it now would be over 100 pounds anyway. Okay. Um, let's do time ending sooner style. I like that. Dun, 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 dun. No, 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 no. Uh, we're quite good at swiping fast. We want a good 1268 or something. Flagship, no. Hmm. Dog. Anything of a 30L or. Mm. No. Well, it might be a good point in this video that you can't always find super cheap watches. Yeah. And that's why you should go but to my Garen... website and get a good one, which I've already <laughs> spent hours and hours and hours searching out and finding for you. And fixing it. And fixing, yeah. Because everything you actually sell does actually work. Oh, I like that one. Disclaimer, old watches might be defaulty. This yeah, but 445, we're not yeah, beyond okay. our budget right now. It's just a nice watch there. Yeah. 1268. Definitely. Yeah. See, this is this is my kind of hunting ground. It will mm. say vintage Longines manual winding. And you click in, you go, oh, I know what that is. Yeah, yeah. And then you can pick them up for... But not when they've already put up the price for £500. No, because that's uh, the dreamers. Yeah. It's Read like that uh, 2600 uh, sedan somebody wants 15 grand for without an engine <laughs> gearbox. Because there's one on some site for €85,000, so she oh. thinks it's that much worth. It's like, no, it's probably three grand in parts. Hmm. 250 Let's have a look if that's plated or gold. Sometimes. Mm, I think because I can see the wear on the crown, I think it's plated, but keep going. No. 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 Very bad. So, what else do we have? Um, long jeans. Should we go shake? Shake up? <laughs> no, we'll get oh, too much stuff. If we get it safe here, we're going to struggle to find something vintage. Yeah. Ultra Cron. Six days remaining there. That's going to be mm. fun. Yeah. Um, Is that it? No, 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 no. Let's go obscure. Alpina? Um, Alpina. I mean, occasionally you can find an Alpina still. Occasionally. Mm. But not often. I think you then have to take out the word watch from the top. Trust Thank me, you. otherwise, yeah, trust me on this one. Yeah, now just go that because it's in. It's, no, 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 don't. No, yeah. I'll go and watch it, otherwise, you'll get cars and stuff. If we could buy an Alpina for £80, oh. That'd be nice. What's that one? A tiny one. Oh, okay. Mm, no, difficult. Mm. Um, oh, Buren? Should I have a look at Buren? Oh, okay, yeah. What were you thinking? I know. Yes. Do you? Yeah, well, I have to look at Buren first, but I think, I think a good brand 
Roma. I used to think of Roma, or oh, what about Revue? Revue. Yeah, we'll have a look Revue. at that. Yeah, Vertex Revue. That's Vertex Revue. Right? We are we are in the oh, UK. Well, let's have a look at the burn. Okay. It's a uh, pretty slim pickings at the moment. It really is. I we, think we everyone's pick, we, like busy being and having family time and oh, having a life and yeah, and we're doing it's this. Pretty funky. Wow, is that it? Right. An auction. What about going on a vertex? Let's try a vertex, see what comes up. Okay. Hmm. 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 Striking out on this one. You need a Roma, bracelet? Use it. No, that's not right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think Roma. Roma. Real, Roma. Roma. Oh, um, actually, I've got a, it's not in house, but what about Rodania? No, I'll have a look. But that's. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Nine carat gold. Really? 40 pounds, yeah. You know, I'd like to add a little bit if it's a gold watch, just for the heck of it. I'm going to say the words Nevada as well. 19 hours. Here it's starting to look like. There we go. Here we're going into budget territory. Oh, hello. Well, that's a plated case, plated but it just case. looks good. Yeah, they're cool. They're cool plated cases, though. They're, they've got these. What's the history of Roma? It's a good in house manufacturer that's gone. Yeah? Yeah, again. Yeah. Of... What's, what's in that job lot there? There's, there's nothing mm. actually that could. Some of those things are the right shape. Nivea cream for some reason. Lovely, mm. delicious. Uh, I like Roma, they've got cool movements. Roma popular. What, so hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. I've plated it. Is that, a, is that a copper dial on the inset there? It's uh, in a ring, I think. Oh, it's quite pretty. Really cool. That is quite pretty. Let's have a look at this. Is that... That's a Helvetia. That's we'll a Helvetia it. from it's got, uh, what's that Plated one? Plated case, yeah. Helvetia 64, nice movement. Very cool movement. Pretty yeah. rough dial. Pretty rough dial, shame. The flagship that I assume. Yeah, that's a... Do you have the Longines tool? I don't have the Longines you, tool. And also your name's not Chuck, so you wouldn't be able to... That... Sign crown? Is that a gold case, James? I think it... Could, well, you, mm, is that plated or gold? Very difficult to tell. Has it got any more case back photos or anything? Not really. It looks... Are there any hallmarks on, on the bottom side of the photo? No. Not all the gold plate. It says gold plated case in the description. Yeah, but probably is then. Well, because sometimes people get that wrong. You can just see there's like no wear through the tips. Because otherwise, it's a very good gold plated case in it. Yeah, it looks like a thick plating. Mm. What's this mark here? Is that a reflection of the strap? Yep. Mm. Never mind. I'm not going to think too much about it. Nope. Kilimanjaro. Yeah, that's pretty funky. That is very cool. Wow. Talk about screw down case. Yeah. Missing a that. screw on the top side, but uh, still, still could be obtained. Technically, a screw down case with wood screws. Four days left, 42 minutes, might not be, it's probably ETA, but... Killing Manjaro. Pretty darn cool watch, though, for that amount of money. Hmm. What movement will be in there? I suspect... Um, this looks, it must be quite small. No, it's 42 mil diameter. That's quite big. No idea. Day, day, probably ETA. Kind of One of the studs that holds the movement in place is damaged. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, all right, that's a bit risky, I would say, to advise anyone to buy. Good Roma. I love the red text. It's cool. Pro it looks to me again so, like it's 34 millimeter. Mm. No, 30, 31. Nine gold taste. 31 millimeter, that's cool. Oh, wow, that's tiny. It's quite small. I don't mind small watches like that. Very cool movement though, look at that. Yeah, that's a cool movement. It looks like, it reminds me of Helvetia with the square cut plates. Mm. It makes it look like American states on the map. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, quite like that. That's a very intriguing applied cool logo. Looking watch, yeah. Stain. It's a brevet case. Yeah, I've got stainless, stainless steel. steel case. Oh, this is this. So is this great. is looking promising this now. This is promising. Come on, yeah. and a brevet. Is, uh... There's just three <clears throat> photos, which are dreadful. Yeah. The the logo looks great. The dial looks good. The ro the, the looks outer original. ring actually looks okay. Really as well. nice. Um... I like this logo. It looks like a sort of chocolate bar. <laughs> Mm. Mm. This this looks like a good watch. This is and this look, is what we're and look how old the strap is as well. This, this oh is not, yeah, this, this has is not, not been worn for a long not... time. And this is probably what thirty three mil. Crown is original. Thirty four, I bet. Vintage Roma. Doesn't say anything. Excellent condition. Okay, and it's so, a, it says thirty millimeter. Like, um, I think I think that's hard, yes, but also it's says hard to say. Also says lug width nine, which cannot be true. It can't be a nine mil lug width. No, that's true. That's not that. I mean, maybe it's 31, 32. All right. I reckon if that's stainless and it's a brevet case. 19 hours remaining. Up to you. Yeah, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put a bit, bid in that one. Why you were just just bidding it at the last minute? What are you doing? You're I'm crazy. just so why would, you, why would you book it? Why remember, would you bid it? In? It doesn't matter. I'll just, You're crazy. They're crazy. I'm peeing on it. I'm showing my interest. Let's <sighs> below. That's cool. Now we'll put in a snipe on this later on. Okay. I'm just touching the waters a bit, letting somebody sweat that somebody else is interested. This is a cool watch. That is a cool watch. I love that second hand. It's <clears> very, very nice. Funny. Look at the, it's got really nice details on the... Yeah. Indices, a sharp. Yeah, that's a cool indices. Uh, it's got very nice, like it has, it's not, there's a cut off. Oh yeah. You have like it's a triangle actually, going inwards as well. It actually worked out into a quadrilateral sort of loom. Original crystal, I assume. Given... Yeah, the, these are quite tricky to find, but we should find something that fits. Um, I'll find a Roma case for you to show how they work. Okay. Have you got a brevet case? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So do you have something like this already? Yeah, I do. I do have a oh, okay. bunch of them, but this is a stainless steel one, so a slightly later one. Mick is now looking through the archive of 43,000 watches that he has. Yeah, here we go. Here's oh, one. Here we go. It's a similar style. He also has a kind of the brass ring, which you're talking about. Very cool. Gold plated ring. Very cool. So it's a oh, uh, let's check the numbers. It's probably the same pattern. 305. So 76, same 42. pattern. Yeah, 91. And that looks like what, 34? Well, we can really? check it out. 33. That's a lovely, that's a lovely, lovely, lovely thing. They are super cool. These watches are awesome. It's very cool. I do not understand okay. why people are not jumping on these 34 35 without the tube 33 yeah yeah and lug width 18 that's gonna be 18 yeah ah 17 ah okay so it's one of the weird ones one of the weird ones but these, but, these yeah. work look how these work they work like this oh yeah okay so it's like that's a really cool case yowza Yep. Well, if you can get one of those for so 20, 20 So the pounds. sandwich in like this, so you sandwich yeah, it crystal. Exactly. So it's basically like a Rolex. Yes, all those Omega Cosmics with the sandwich, with the, the bizarre amounts of cam cases yeah. and very this cool. one of the early ones, yeah. These are cool. That's a plated mid case that's and a, stainless steel yep, back and that's front. That's exactly what they are. A lot of them are placed. This is um, stainless steel back. This is stainless steel. So yeah, this so is it's the whole thing. Complete. This is a later model. So Ooh, the like trade-off is that I think the earlier dials are yeah, yeah, more yeah. beautiful. I'll oh, show you really cool dial I got. Again, it's, I just haven't really serviced or restored these because of the market prices. It's almost too low for me to have the case restored. Yeah. Just as my time servicing and then trying to sell it. But look at the dial on this. Oh yeah. Sort of copper, gilt. This is an early one. Not the same pattern, that one. No, but it's the same. That's just an amazing dial. Yeah. I can't really see I wonder it. if that dial would fit on this case. No, but that's franking, styling it. So you'd never do that? I will never do that. Very strict when it comes to that. Indeed. Oh yeah, no, here's another one as well. Gold-plated one. Oh, cool. Different pattern number again. A very much a, a rounded back. Yeah, that one. this is an automatic as well, so it has a your in-house automatic movement. Cool. All right. Well, maybe we've got. Well, we got. We could just. I think yeah. this is a target. Well done. That's a lot of. Uh, that was good fun. Lot of looking around. So yeah, we have something to look at tomorrow. So definitely, what we're going at here is that you can see all the scratches seem to be in the crystal. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's nothing major in the dial. 
The outer ring is nice and clean. We have all the second markers on there, which is a good indication of it being in decent condition. We will have to find a new crystal. Yeah. Um, Lovely lugs. Blued no, no. second hand is nice, I think. One thing I always get caught out as well is cracked bezels in the shadow. Like sometimes, yeah. sometimes sellers try and take a photo where the bezel is cracked and this one's not. The crown looks good. It's another one. This is probably a plated case, but we're just having... Oh, oh it's got an interesting strap. That's pretty cool. Bomb clip style. Is that actually a bomb clip, though? I um, don't know. This is uh, a badly, the plating corroded, there is badly corroded case, unfortunately. Which, um, uh, uh, that's a shame. It's yeah, a good bamboo bracelet, if these, though. If these go up in value, though, they're worth restoring the case, because you've got the stainless steel inner case anyway mm. and you just have to plate the outer case so i'd say that one's new to, yeah. but that has got four bids in it already which yeah, is quite yeah, incredible that's good. It's good oh hello this is the one i was interested in because it's yeah. a job lot uh oh that's a roma yeah that's the roma there yeah but it's just it's a small one plated it's case it's tiny really cool dial though yeah wow. real so and the red second hand at the tip look at that yeah that's very cool very cool little thing very cool lovely thing. lovely but we've already found a target now, I think. Okay. Let's yeah. Two. Oh, that's just gorgeous. Too far gone on the edges. Oh, but, uh... Yeah. I think that, that case restored again, though. Then again, yeah, look at that dial. That is just gorgeous 1940s, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, a shame that the back is. Uh... This is a really early one. We don't even have any markings on the back. No. Um, cool. Yeah. Okay. So we've got one, one in the chamber. One in chamber. Is there any other brands we should have a quick look at? Uh, I'm going to say Nevada, but they're not in the house. Yeah, well, I'm happy to have a look. Just for the heck of it. Yeah. Uh, no. 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 This is where we find one you have listed for sale. And you get <laughs> that one. Wow. Oh, we should definitely buy this. Look at that tiny one on the bracelet. That's hilarious. Uh, no, I think the answer is no. The answer is altogether no. By the looks of it. Okay, never mind. Mm, do you know any brands we missed? I was going to look at my own brand list. <laughs> Just give me a. I was thinking about oh, oh, how do we miss Alpina? Yeah. Alpina. Young hands. Junghans. Junghans. Lemania. Lemania, okay. Yeah. Well, you beat, I would think we, um, uh, we struggled to find Lemania, I think, at that price range. Well, Universal, Genève. Sometimes. Universal Genève, probably on, um, maybe in Japan, you get a time only. Universal mm -hmm. Genève. But maybe not here. You think here 280 or something? Sometimes you get the free hands that are reasonable. They've gone up a lot though. I haven't really looked at these for a long time. No. Quartz. Dreadful. I don't know what's going on there. That's quite lovely. But it's not. No, they've got quite pricey these ones now. Hmm. Oh, I remember. That's a nice lot of spins. Picking it? them up for, you know, a couple of pounds. <laughs> it's literally one of my clients. I talked on the phone and he's like, Oh, I picked up this IWC military, like, you yeah. know, the... 50 seven, pounds. No, yeah. seven pounds from the Army Depot. Oh, yeah. In the <laughs> 60s. So I thought, oh, that's pretty yeah. good. Oh, I had a few, and I used to chuck them when they stopped working. I thought, oh, what you did? Yeah, I just went and bought another one. This is the last one I got. So, oh, <laughs> good. <laughs> that's why they cost... Oh, that's a nice selection of levers, springs, and... All sorts, sorts. of things. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Is these Universal Genève mainsprings? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. 89% positive feedback, always a good sign. It's probably good, but it's not, we're not looking for parts. Um, I think. I don't think we're going to find no, a UG. Um, I, I, also, I agree we're not going to find a UG. Do we have any? Got that. Let's see, quick, quick search in your hands. This is cool though, for 200 quid. So now we're going up over what we're looking at price, but... Interesting. <clears throat> uh, I'd say the doll has been a bit fussed about with, but maybe that's I think just... the crystal has been polywashed, polywashed to death. That's yeah, my bet. I think the, and it's also good, the, condition, the photo is dreadful. Look at yeah. the... Using a potato camera. I think actually that doll is better. I think that's a positive. 
style. I don't know, but it's just too bad. Pixel, like, not for this price. If it's like a 50, 60 quid watch, I'd take the chance. Mm -hmm. I just cannot tell if this is a good dial or not because it's just okay. quality is too bad. For the right price, you'd kind of gamble it. Yeah, this might be fixed, but oh no, there's pinholes. There's pinholes. Uh, what about uh, Rodania? They make budgety stuff, but I know, I know. Mm. Oh, Giro Perigue. Occasionally you can get good uh, Giro yeah. Perigues. Yeah, we're kind of going out on the side. I think Junghans, they do it in house. Oh, that's a U, yeah. Yeah. Yes, I know. I was just. Okay. I'm just. My yeah. hands are here, my phone's in front of me. <laughs> do mechanical. Mm, there's not that many. There's not just that many. Cool. Let's just see what pops up, yeah? Oh, hello. What's going on here? That looks attractive. Nice sub second dial. Yeah. Big loom hands. Oh, check this. Is cool. That is cool. Is that a tenth of a second stopwatch? Yeah. Cool. They are really cool. Porsche used us. I think we should get one of those for us to carry around and time each other all day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say it's a plated case. It is. Foreign. <laughs> 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 this is time Germany wasn't so popular in Europe. Uh, well, foreign. It in, yeah, this is it's been foreign. branded foreign. However, really lovely dial. A lovely dial. Round that figure for that. Is that because it says foreign? No. Okay. Because it's, uh, this is cool. That though. is cool. What is this? Is this a tenth of a second timer where <coughs> yeah, two thirds is. of it's covered? Yeah, and pretty much. That's amazing. Just go. That's really cool. Date, uh, April 20th, April 71. That'd there be very go. cool. Yeah. That'd be cool under dash, wouldn't it? Yeah, I want one of that. I want two of them next two to each other. Yep. And I will pointlessly start and stop each one of them at <laughs> uh, traffic lights. Good. Elastic, max bill. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Oh, look at this. A shame about the case, dial. but look at that style. What about before? Um, they're in house movements. So oh, I, I like Alpina. I find it very difficult to find them. Or I don't even see them mm. existing anymore, really. Now, I think we are escaping the barrel of what creatively where we can look for. Somebody's yep. going to say, Why didn't you look for da da da? Be, well, because our brains are mush. Um, <laughs> quick La Mania. You could have had a. So today we're basically just looking at eBay, the other websites you can go and look auction houses and stuff. But we just today it's just kind of our eBay hunt. Um, Good stopwatch. That's cool. Yeah, the Mania Nero. Is that a BBC? I don't know. Nice dial, actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. now, eBay is not what it used to be. I'm afraid. Mm -hmm. That's cool. That is very cool. Still very reasonable. Anything eight, under 800 for numbers, I'd call a bargain. Super cool watches. It's too far gone. No, that's it. Oh well. All right, well, we'll part two of this video, we'll uh, look at what we found. This is cool, check this out. Oh, go on then. Where I go. It's a power reserve. No. Yeah. So that's, that's an all stainless one as well, right? I don't know, I'll probably plate it. Um, cool movement. They are cool, it's automatic and a power it. reserve. Uh, I have serviced one of these before. Um, stainless steel back. That's a really good condition case though. This is a very rare watch. Hmm. Very collectible. But price, and that's pretty good for what it is, but pricey for me right now. Yep. That's cool. Nero stopwatch. Yep. All right. We got a parcel today, so let's open up and see what's inside.
Here we are. Here's our challenge watch. First impressions. Well, definitely need some uh, work, some cleanup. I'll need a service. As uh, James pointed out, it has a fairly typical old man strap, which uh, has not been changed in a decade or two and worn to oblivion. You have the uh, complimentary um, filth around the case. What we do have is an original crown, fully stainless steel case. We have the uh, crack in the crystal, but look at that. The outer ring looks very good. Um, dial looks fantastic. Even the luminous comp compound is pretty good on this. So yeah, I guess the next thing to do is to give it a full service. James is not with me today because he's back at work in London. But um, I think I'll let him, he'll be in charge of what strap we should do and he'll also be in charge of uh, taking photos of this for social media later on. But um, yeah, cool.